Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another designer shout out and this time it includes a tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, first things first, we have got an awesome octopus that was shared with me by 6th grader Bria. She added the bow to this cute little guy and in general just had fun with it. She shared it with me and I said hey let's turn it into a keychain. So friends, I've got some steps for you, let's make a keychain. First, bring out a half sphere. When it comes out, the measurements are 20 by 20. I want you to take the 20 in front and I want you to make it a 10. And then I also want you to find the height and make that five and press enter. This is gonna be what one leg looks like. We need to have two legs. We're gonna do that really cool, watch this. Set it to five, do control D. And then we're gonna nudge back. One, two, three, four clicks. So they are exactly across from each other. And then we're going to take those two and we're going to group them. Now we can do control D and when we rotate 45 degrees, so that's two clicks, you can let go and do control D again and again. And you have just built the legs of your awesome little octopus. Let's bring out a body. It is going to be a sphere. I want you to keep it on that size five, hold shift, and we're going to shrink it to 15. If you have to type number 15, that's fine as well. Now because we made those groups, if we select everything and we just do a line and we choose middle and middle, all of a sudden the head and the legs will instantly be where you want them, which is pretty darn amazing. Now the next thing I want to do is add the cool smile. We're going to do that by bringing out a box and what this does is gives us a flat edge to draw on. Now put your work plane on that flat edge, grab a piece of scribble and then decide what kind of smile you want. I don't care if you give it a little couple dimples, a tongue hanging out, whatever you pick. Just choose something that you like. And then once you've got it, you can drag it over to your little octopus's head. And now I'm going to switch my grid back to one. And I'm gonna shrink it to where I want. So first there's a down arrow to get it to the right location. I'm just going to use the black handles and squeeze it till I'm happy. And then I want to make sure it doesn't stick in quite as far. That's pretty good, but it's a real tall smile. Just a couple more clicks. That I'm a little more happy with. I'm going to make it a hole so it cuts in. And I want it to be a little bit angled. So I'm going to do this right here. Let's click on the two of those shapes by holding shift and let's group them and see if we like how that mouth cuts in. And I think that's all right. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground. I'm going to get rid of that box by hitting delete. And then I want to grab the eyeballs I made in my creations. Now, if you've got a ton of creations, you may have to hit more shapes and more shapes and more shapes to find it. I've made a lot of shapes, so it takes me a lot of clicks to get there. Now, friends, we can bring out that little eyeball. Make sure we're on the one millimeter nudge and then we can do shift shrink to get it so it's just the way we want. I'm going to do shift select to grab those two, choose a line, and I want to make the top and the right edge where that eyeball is. I'm going to bring it back, nudge it across, and just get it in place using the arrow keys. When I'm happy I'll do control D and then I'll move its other one over to the other side. We can also take them, and this is kind of fun, you can rotate them to crazy angles to make them look a little bit fancier. So I'm gonna have mine looking up and then also make sure they are connected. I am pretty happy with that. Friends, the bow was a really fun addition. You can do that in basic shapes and just simply scroll down and find the heart. When you bring in the heart, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees so it's aimed the way I want. And then we do control D, take the second one and mirror it. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge that across. And then we simply put a cylinder in between them. Here's my cylinder. I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink that so it fits the way I want. And then I'm gonna give it round sides and then we can group it. To make it line up the best, I'm gonna group these two first. And then I can grab the next two and I can align them and boom, 
all our pieces are just the way we want. I'm going to click group and I'm going to shift shrink and pick a color that fits my little octopus a little bit better. There's that cool pink. Lift it up with the cone or control up arrow, whichever you prefer. Rotate it into place. And then friends, this is one thing I'm going to show you. Once you've got it in place, if you want to change its alignment, make sure you put the work plane with the W on that little shape so that it shrinks the way you expect it to. I'm going to do work plane back to the ground, so W and then click there. And now I can lift up my bow and put it right on the top of my cute little octopus, just like that. Friends, the final step is to add a hole for a keychain. We're going to bring that out with a hole cylinder. I'm going to set the sides to round. And then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink it. And I'm going to tell you the magic size in my room is size 5 and press enter. Once it's shrunk and in place, you can select those legs, group them, and you have just created an awesome 3D printable octopus keychain. Alrighty friends, there you have it. An awesome 3D printable octopus keychain inspired by 6th grader Bria. Once again, thank you so much for sharing. Friends, I hope you have a ton of fun with this and come up with other creative add-ons you can do with your octopus. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.